Hi, early start. Welcome to the introduce yourself page. Um, I'm going to share my screen real quick. And we can take a look at your assignment. And then I will walk you through a brief introduction. Um, so to get to the introduce yourself page, you'll just click here on the left under uh, join a writing mentor group. So hopefully you've already done that. If not, go back and make sure that you join a group. I'll, I'll talk you through what that looks like um, in a few moments as well. And then here's where you're gonna introduce yourself. Um, so you have two options to complete this work. First of all, you can write a response or you can record a video response and share a vlog. So we'll talk about each of those and I'll briefly uh, show you what that's gonna look like. So to write a response, you're gonna go back to the writing group area. And by this time, if you click on writing group, it should only show you, your only option should be to join the group that you've already joined. And so all of your work that you're submitting um, to early start is gonna happen in this space. Um, so you'll be a small group of like 13 to 15 students with one writing mentor. And those students will um, be interacting uh, with your posts, you'll be interacting with theirs and your mentor will, will be interacting with all of your work. So go to the join a writing group, click on the uh, mentor group area and then we'll go, we'll go from there. So that's where this will eventually live. Um, so here's some detailed instructions. So you'll click on your, your mentor's name and then it will take you to a new page here. And then you're gonna look for a forum called Introduce Yourself. So your mentor will have that all ready for you. Then you'll click on a small link called Introduce Yourself and in a new page, see what that looks like. We'll go back over here in a new page, we'll go to group discussion board. Yes, and then here, you'll go to create forum. You'll put your first name, last name, introduce yourself, introducing myself, um, and then go ahead and follow the prompt here. Um, that's option number one for a written response. If you want to do a video response or a vlog, you'll go ahead and record that, post it to YouTube. And I have a, a YouTube um, tutorial also on the assignment here. So if you want to learn how to post videos to YouTube, there's a resource right there. If you already have experience with that, go right ahead and then you click on this plus sign, click on YouTube, search for your video. So I would suggest always titling your videos, first name, last name, early start, and then the assignment. So it'll be easy to find on YouTube. Then once you find that, If this is the one that you want, you'll make your selection. And then it will be posted to your group and people can watch that. Okay, so those are your options. And then here are the questions you'll be answering. So whether or not you're writing a blog or you're doing a vlog, um, you'll be answering these questions. So who are you? Where are you from? What are you into outside of school? What are you looking forward to? And what makes you nervous about your first year in college? What do you wanna accomplish while you're here? And then if you do a written response, make sure that you post a, a photo. If you're doing a video, we'll probably see you, but feel free to post a photo as well. If you don't have one in your video. Um, okay. 
So let me give you a, an idea of what I'm looking for here. So basically, um, we've already met uh, through a series of previous videos, but I just want to let you know a little bit more about me. Um, so what I would like to share with you is um, a little bit more about my background. So I'm actually uh, originally from Humboldt County. Um, so all of my extended family still lives on the North Coast. Um, several generations uh, back there. Um, so I grew up in a family of four in the mid 90s, early 2000s. Um, and I started attending Chico State in 2005. Um, so I moved to Chico to go to school at Chico State. Um, I never really imagined that I would stay here. Um, I've lived here on and off, but for the most part, Chico's been home since 2005. Um, so I'm really, really happy to be teaching at the English department um, at Chico State because it's really my home institution. Um, so when I very first started college, I was undeclared. I didn't know what I wanted to study, um, but then my junior year, I had the opportunity to study abroad um, in Costa Rica. And before that I had taken, I had continued to take language classes all through high school and college. I, I just wasn't, I just never imagined that I would major in Spanish, but after studying abroad, um, that was definitely the direction that I wanted to go in. So I started studying um, Spanish, you know, pretty seriously um, as an adult. Um, so that was a really unique experience and um, something that I think really shaped my worldview and how I, I came to understand language learning. Um, so that was a bit of my undergrad work. And then I started, um, I also have two minors. Uh, I have a minor in multicultural and gender studies and a more minor in Chicano studies. So I was taking all those courses at once at Chico State as an undergrad. Um, then I did a couple of internships abroad and I came back to Chico in 2011-ish, I believe, maybe 2012 and started my uh, master's program in teaching international languages with the emphasis in TESOL. So I started teaching English by um, really focusing on, on language learning. Um, multilingual uh, writers was what I was most interested in. And so then I had this really cool intersection where I started studying a lot of um, writing and English uh, from sort of this second language learning or um, SLA, uh, second language acquisition lens. Um, so that's a little bit about my background, um, my education, a little bit about what I'm interested in academically. Um, but I also am like really super into my dog, Mona, good girl, can you come here? No, she's just going to yawn at us. So this is my dog, Mona, she's a Labradoodle and, um, her and I like, get all the steps in walking around the neighborhood. That's something I really enjoy outside of work. And I also have a lot of house plants. So I don't know, here's a few just around me, I'll show you. Um, so yeah, I have a little garden outside and then I have an indoor garden. So I just have a ton of house plants everywhere. <laughs> um, more behind me. <laughs> so yeah, I, I like gardening, um, especially since shelter in place. That's been really fun to build some larger planter boxes and have something to do in my in my backyard. Um, I also just read like a ton of books. I really like audiobooks and podcasts. Um, and then I just have stacks of books everywhere that I read for work and and for pleasure. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about me. I hope that kind of helps you think through how you can um, introduce yourself 
And I really, really look forward to watching your videos, reading your responses. Remember, the point of this is just to get to know each other. It's really fun to click on people's videos and watch them and see, you know, what they have around them at their house. Please post pictures of um, yourself if you do a written response. Uh, just sort of humanizes everyone. Um, and I really, really look forward to meeting you uh, on the discussion forum. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me on Remind or uh, you can message any of the mentors. Um, we're happy to help. So I know it's a little complicated getting started, but trust me, like once you do the first post, it will get easier and easier and easier. So just ask if you have any questions and we're happy to help. Okay. I think that's all I have for you for your first task in early start. Um, this will be due uh, at the end of the day. Hmm. Let me check. I have to verify. Yes. <laughs> Please try to finish this the end of the day on the 26th. We'll need to be responding to each other's work on the 27th. So you'll go back and reply to some of the posts. Um, so anytime um, on the 26th or early in the 27th. So folks will have enough time to read or watch your videos and respond to them. Okay. Talk soon.